Tesla has to sell only a single mega pack battery, and they sell a lot of them, just one, to make as much money as they do from selling 100 electric cars. And guys, it is so much easier to sell one mega pack than 100 EVs, especially this year. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Interesting, isn't it? Now, Elon Musk has said, he said last year, that Tesla's energy division would be its fastest growing division for the, for the company. And he said it would easily outpace its EV sales. He was very right about that. I mean, Tesla's energy storage or battery growth, sales growth has been staggering. The first quarter of this year, they sold four gigawatt hours. In the second quarter, it was about nine and a half gigawatt hours. That's crazy. And it makes them the largest supplier of basically energy storage packs worldwide. And what is intriguing about all of this is that Tesla's actually making a lot of profit selling these batteries. This statistic really shows you why Elon Musk says that Tesla's energy business could one day be worth more than its car business. Some analysts are saying that the surge in interest in battery storage on the grid and the downgrading of EV sales forecasts will, well, show that, well, Tesla's growth will come from batteries. Now, keep in mind, there are analysts now saying that by 2030, the deployment of batteries will have tripled minimum. Some of them are saying five times versus this year. So imagine that if the car market worldwide increased by five times. So what are we selling? An average of about 75 million cars a year. <laughs> that would mean they'd be looking at hundreds and hundreds of millions of car sales, you know, probably more than 500 million car sales by 2030. That's never going to happen. Never. That's insane. The, car, the, the global car sales figures have, they don't increase. In fact, they've been going down for the last five years. Battery storage, completely different, right? It's growing at an incredible pace. A key, a key reason for that is because the cost of batteries have gone down. That has meant that more and more companies are deploying batteries. But another reason, of course, is because there is so much solar and so much solar energy is being wasted. So governments are saying, well, we can fix that. We can basically transform our grids from using coal and gas to using solar, wind and batteries. And the prices now are very, very affordable. According to analysts at Morgan Stanley, Tesla earns as much money from the sale of a single Tesla Megapack battery the equipment it uses for grid scale storage installations as it does from the sale of 100 EVs. Using US prices, analyst Adam Jonas says the price of a mega pack is around $1.4 million depending on the state. The average price of its EVs is around US $40,000, but a mega pack delivers a much higher margin than EVs. Margins on mega packs are 20% versus 7% for cars. That's crazy. It's even possible those margins have increased since then, considering the cost for battery cells, the battery cells Tesla use, uh, they have come down significantly over the past six months. But keep in mind, the energy density of CATL's lithium ion phosphate batteries has just increased by around, 20, around 23%. Now I know Tesla is still using the older cells. So there's a good chance that Tesla is getting a discount for using those older cells in their battery storage packs because I mean, realistically, Tesla is the biggest, uh, the biggest partner or the biggest purchaser of batteries from CATL. And without Tesla, CATL sales would collapse. I mean, not collapse literally, but I mean, such a huge part of their business is dependent on Tesla. So there's a very good chance Tesla is paying less for its sales than any other company in the world. Meaning, I'm going to guess around about fifty dollars per kilowatt hour. This means the operating profit of a mega pack equates to that of around 100 of its EVs. And one mega pack factory that produces one 10,000 units could deliver the same profits as an EV gigafactory making 1 million EVs, says reneweconomy.com.au. Just put that in context, guys. One mega pack factory um, that produces only 10,000 batteries per year will make the same profit as a gigafactory making 1 million EVs. So if Tesla has 10 megapack factories making 10,000 batteries a year, seems entirely feasible, it could be the same as Tesla selling 10 million cars a year. 
10 million. Jonas cited the numbers in his latest valuation of Tesla Energy, which has now boosted from around US 130 billion to US 183 billion, which is more than any listed Australian company on our entire stock exchange. And that is a big number to put on a company to vision making technology that one half of, well, here's what Renewable Economy says, one half of Australia's political divide believes does not exist. In other words, Renewable Economy is saying that, yeah, Republicans, um, liberals here, you call them liberals in Australia, it's, it's the same as Republicans. It sounds weird, but yeah, anyway, they're basically saying that, you know, one half of politics in many countries around the world believes that battery storage, solar, it's the wrong play. We should always be jumping right into nuclear. Now, these revaluations follow the reveal by Tesla that it posted sales of 9.4 gigawatt hours of energy storage in its latest quarter, which is way ahead of analyst expectations. And it's a part of the reason for Tesla's dramatic increase in its stock price over the past month, a rise of around 50%. Morgan Stanley believes the company will reach annual deployments of over 100 gigawatt hours by 2028, instead of 2031. Now guys, if this were to happen, over 100 gigawatt hours by 2028, it is almost certain Tesla will be making more money from its energy storage division than it will be from electric cars. You can really see guys why Tesla is pivoting away a little bit from mass manufacturing millions of EVs, focusing on instead energy storage, artificial intelligence, automated cars, so basically robo taxis, and on its robots, so its Tesla bot. Those are the four areas that Tesla are focusing on instead of becoming the Toyota of cars or the BYD of cars and just selling millions of cars every year. Because realistically, that's what makes sense. Now, a lot of people are, are criticizing Elon Musk, saying that this is wrong, but clearly shareholders believe otherwise. And that's why the price has increased drastically this year. Morgan Stanley says that if its own prediction of 140 gigawatt hours of annual battery deployments in 2030 is correct, that will equate to around 30% of the global battery storage market. 30% does seem feasible. That's probably where Tesla is at right now. Tesla could be a bit higher than that right now. Interestingly, as well as this, guys, Morgan Stanley now values Tesla's energy division at the same, basically the same figure as Tesla's entire car business. Uh, that includes even rideshare and robo taxis. And Tesla's network components both get much higher valuations around double those of batteries and cars. So realistically, Tesla's energy division, it doesn't sound sexy. It doesn't really have the appeal of a Model 2 or a Cybertruck, but it's gonna be a lot more profitable. Thanks for watching.